Hey guys, Volkman86 here, and this is a super fantastic, amazing, incredible, fabulous presentation because I just came home from Whistle World, Austin, Texas, and I got to meet Stan Lee tonight, so my day is fantastic. Uh, first of all, as you see here, I have the Stanley VIP uh, badge. I know a lot of you guys are saying, well, that's a lot of money spent. But this is worth it to me. Stanley is so old. He's in his early 90s, 91, 92. He's around that age. And a Sally, he might not be with this a lot longer. And... I know he's been canceling a lot of shows and this man is one of my greatest heroes because of all the cool uh, comic themes he's done for us and characters and the man himself is a great character and he is a living legend. So the price of this is really worth it for me. Um, I still have my wristband on as you can see it's, uh, I'm not supposed to take this off uh, technically if I want to go again tomorrow and Sunday so that's why I still have it on uh, that big photo you see actually came in the Stanley VIP experience uh, goodie bag that they gave us um, let me tell you about the Stanley experience I got to meet him and I almost missed his photo op because I was in line to see Sean Patrick Flannery. But uh, Flannery's a really awesome guy himself. And he was spending about 10 minutes per person, literally, talking to them, even non-VIP. So I wasn't in a VIP for Sean Patrick Flannery. So uh, VIPs also got to go ahead of me if they randomly walked by. But anyways, I waited 40 minutes, and I was only like six people away from Sean Patrick Flannery when I heard the last call for Stanley Photo Op on the intercom, and I really didn't realize how late I was. So I went to ask one of the staff people near the photo op area where I go, and she's like, oh, hurry up to the back. Uh, go back there and ask those people. Uh, you might already missed your chance, uh, even if you're a VIP. And I was like, wow. But amazingly, uh, the guy was able to get me at the end of the one of the VIP lines. And I got to see him within th those next couple of minutes. And that's where I got to take this really awesome photograph with him. And... He actually did exchange words. I heard he doesn't exchange words at shows or say much, but he actually greeted me, asked me how I'm doing. It was incredible. And she can see I'm still dressed, the same outfit, so that's pretty cool. Let me tell you about the other stuff I got to do at the Austin Comic Con. Uh, first of all, the grab bag contained uh, Walking Undead number one uh, variant covers, of course. This is the normal one that every single person got for attending the show. However, VIP people, they also got the sketch variant as well. And all the dealers at the shows, they were already buying these off people. They wanted $10 for this one, $20 for this one. So, and a lot of people sold them, sadly, to the dealers. I guess they needed quick money to recuperate from their ticket ticket loss. But these these are worth holding on to. You can only get these at 
this particular Comic Con they're from. So it's a loss on their part. Another really amazing person I got to see. I got to see Mr. Frain. I also chatted with him. I took a personal picture with him on my phone. His assistant uh, took the picture for me. And it's a really awesome picture. He actually, I actually asked for the box cutter prop. They had a box cutter prop and he took me to the neck with the box cutter just like you see on Breaking Bad. It's really incredible picture. It's on my phone or on my camera so can't really show it to you. But he also got to sign this for me. I got to pick one of the eight pictures he had. A lot of them they got Mr. Freen uh, just as a regular pose. But I, this is the cool picture right here. Not getting this picture is, it's not worth it to get the other picture compared to this one. And he got to put uh, to Miguel, be bad. And then he even quoted Gus and, and Boyles. Uh, he even told me himself that he was actually surprised a lot of people didn't pick this picture compared to the other ones that they were picking. He was actually glad that I picked that picture. Uh, this also came in the goodie bag. I haven't even opened it. I got ads for the different comic vendors there, of course. Cosplay stuff. Uh, Nothing important there. I stopped by the Xenoscope booth. They gave me this. The guy tossed in this with my purchases as well. And I don't really collect uh, Xenoscope books. I, I agree that they're cool art. Uh, well, such a life start. <laughs> That's what it is. But I, I got these because they're exclusive to Whistle World Texas and it's cool to collect the exclusive stuff. This one obviously was the more expensive one and it's also more revealing one. Another really awesome thing I did I the thing that I had Stanley sign was my Avengers number one in PGX 6.5. I basically spent about 40 minutes going through the process of learning how to do that because I never been to a Comic Con and especially have a CGC witness uh, to get a CGC witness to witness an important signature such as Stanley. But I'm actually going to do a separate video on the process to do that because I actually recorded the entire process. I recorded the entire unslabbing. It was heart heartbreaking for me and heart. I was sweating basically. And let me put it that way because it's just makes me very nervous to see scissors getting put to Avengers number one, even if it's to take it out the slab. So that that was pretty nerve wracking experience some other random stuff forgot to show this in the original video but uh they let me keep the label from the avengers book so i still have uh this as proof that i used to have that avengers number one and it is now being converted to cgc let's hope it stays the same grade or better which is Doubtful, but hopeful thinking. And let's hope it's not restored. That's one big thing I'm worried about is restoration. Uh, there was so much to do. And the time flew by super fast. Uh, this was my picture for Stanley to pick it up.
they let me keep the coupon. I'm not sure if they were supposed to do that or not. Uh, anyways, let me get to the comics. I really didn't have get a chance to browse the comics, but I did pick up a, a few random issues. They're not all that high grade and stuff, but I picked up a Tells a Suspense 94, which is the first MODOK. I always wanted one of these issues. It's, a, it's in really bad shape. Uh, Don't let the Mylar deceive you, it's in really bad shape. Paid twelve dollars for it, that's why I got this. They had another copy, brilliant copy. They wanted a hundred fifty, but I, I want to save up for a bigger, higher price book. They had a X-Men number uh, four that I was signing, so who knows, I might go back tomorrow and get that if it's still there. Uh, also, another one I was signed was a Daredevil number one, uh, in fine plus condition. That the price wasn't bad. There was also a CGC X Men 5.0. They wanted thirty three hundred for that. Um, that's a, that's a little too much for me. Ford right now though. Uh, the other book, Avengers number eight. First King the Conqueror. I always wanted this book. I've, I've been looking for a high grade book, but believe it or not, these are hard to come by with my experience of searching for them. This is a decent grade, but it's not the 9.0 grade range that I wanted for this book. Um, I paid $75 for this book. I, I think it was a decent price. Uh, there is some um, tear there, not sure if, uh, it, it's probably just regular tear, I don't think it's a production tear, who knows, it could be the Marvel chipping, I'm not too sure, but that would be being hopeful, but that was my very exciting day today at Wizard World Austin, Texas, getting to meet Stan the Man Lee, is a very great honor and I'm glad I got to see him before it was too late and I hope you guys uh, enjoy this little different video I, sh I showcase my Stan Lee stuff and I also hope you enjoyed the comic set then thanks for watching this video and I hope you guys are so enthusiastic as I am about this because I am still hyped about meeting Stan the Manly. It is incredible. Volkman 86 out.